Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Born on this day, August 11th in 1890, Rowan Fleming Burns was known as the Queen of the Natchez Trace Parkway. In 1935, she became president of the Mississippi Natchez Trace Association and served in the capacity until a few months prior to her death in 1970. In 1936, she helped secure a $500,000 bill for right-of-way purchases through the Mississippi Legislature. Two years later, the Natchez Trace Parkway became a permanent part of the National Park Service. The pen used by Franklin Roosevelt to sign the bill was sent to Burns and was on display in the Trace Room at her home, Ravenna Side. The walls of the Trace Room featured murals of the completed Natchez Trace. In 1966, Burns received an Award of Merit from the American Association of State and Local History. The citation reads, for leadership that led to the creation and development of the National Trace Parkway of the National Park Service. In addition to her work in establishing the trace, Burns was recognized as an early proponent of racial harmony, contributing frequently to black churches and working with the Natchez Negro Civic and Business League to finance a community center for young African Americans. Burns once stated her philosophy, I hate the words communism, integration, and segregation. I like the word friendship. That's what we're working for. Hey y'all, I'm Hyde Carby. Rowan Fleming Burns was my great-great-aunt, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.